cleaner your air is, the better everybody's going to feel and breathe. Luckily, the air quality here in Oklahoma is very good. It's easy to be outside all day long and not worry about whether or not Oklahoma has an air quality issue. We meet and exceed all the national ambient air quality standards. Oil and natural gas production as a whole has had an increased emphasis over time on the environment. Continued studies have discovered more and more things that the industry has jumped in feet first to solve and, and to address. We've definitely come a long way j just in the last five to ten years in, uh, in being concerned with air quality. I think a lot of people will be incredibly surprised at what goes into designing one of these facilities to make sure that's the safest and the you know, most respectable thing we can do to the environment. We work really hard to make sure that, you know, we, we have clean air now and that we will continue to have that, you know, in the future. The oil and natural gas industry has done a lot to reduce emissions from the volatile organic compounds, the nitrogen dioxide and carbon monoxide from products of combustion, hydrogen sulfide, and sulfur dioxide, as well as the carbon dioxide and methane emissions. The oil and natural gas industry is, is employing several technologies to decrease emissions from their sites. Several examples include enclosed combustion, vapor recovery units, low bleed and no bleed pneumatic control devices, and then fugitive emissions monitoring to the degree that they can employ. So one of the largest technologies that's really been developed in the past few years is vapor recovery. What it does is it hooks on to surface tanks that the produced oil is stored in. It takes those carbon emissions, it compresses them through a compressor and puts them into a sales line. That way it also prevents them from going into the atmosphere. We can collect 95 to 100 percent of carbon emissions from oil and gas production. So when we use the term no bleed pneumatic controller. It's taking the emissions that would be in a normal pneumatic controller and reducing those by 100%. There are no longer emissions from that device. When we talk about a low bleed pneumatic controller, the emissions are reduced by roughly 90%. Oklahoma oil and natural gas producers have begun using plunger lifts during their production operations to greatly reduce emissions. In a natural gas well, there's still those liquids that get produced and they can build up in the well bore and prohibit the flow of natural gas to the surface. So those liquids have to be blown down. And a plunger lift is a device that can be put down hole that uses the pressure in the reservoir to constantly lift those uh, liquids to the surface to allow the flow of natural gas. And so it reduces an emission that would occur through blowing down a well. Green completions were a technique developed by industry that was then put forth to the EPA Natural Gas Star Program as they were showing their methane reduction strategy. The purpose of those is to capture the emissions of methane and, and natural gas that would otherwise be vented to the atmosphere during the completion process when they clean up a well. That technological advance is really important to industry. At, at the end of the day, um, you know, I really enjoy my job because it is something I'm interested in, but it's, it's also something that I feel does make an impact. On the environment. The future of clean air in Oklahoma I think is pretty bright. We have a lot of people who are really invested in producing the cleanest possible fossil fuels that they can and technology is really allowing us to be cognizant of the environment and continue to protect the environment in which we all live. The oil and natural gas industry has continued to evolve in their environmental protection over the last 10 to 20 years. They've become more aware of what their emissions are and have become to truly make it a part of their business plan and strategy as to how they're going to operate cleaner and cleaner. We're all Oklahomans and we're all breathing the same air and I, I think everyone's shooting for the same thing is to take care of what we have so that's here forever.